In the 1980s, British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher popularized the term, there is no alternative. At the time, she was referring to capitalism, and specifically the idea that because Soviet socialism did not work, capitalism as practiced in the first world was the only way forward for the human race. In other words, there is no alternative to capitalism. Although the context is very different today, I feel the phrase is especially appropriate when considering YouTube's monopoly on video making on the internet. And I think we can examine its monopoly in order to understand why their updates to their terms of service and their strict limits on monetization are so frustrating to us. YouTube has what is called a captive market. In the same way that college students cannot do anything but buy extremely expensive textbooks unless they happen to be able to pirate them, nobody can gain the huge audience or the money that YouTube generates on their own. Now, there are some exceptions to this. Uh, before it shut down, a site like That Guy with the Glasses was very popular and was successful, but eventually that folded as well. And for the most part, you can't really be a successful video maker without using YouTube. So, YouTube can make us do whatever it wants, and they'll only listen to us if we're angry and we're loud. So, I've read the updates to YouTube's terms of service, and they frustrate me just as much as they frustrate you guys, I'm sure. I think it's uh, incredibly dangerous that we're not allowed to monetize controversial subjects. Just recently, my video entitled the marijuana industry after legalization was demonetized on the value on the grounds that it was not advertiser friendly what can i do about this well i can complain to youtube but if they decide that my video is not advertiser friendly there's basically nothing i can do about it likewise popular youtubers with controversial opinions like the amazing atheist or sargon of Akkad often find their videos demonetized so it makes us angry. This, for a lot of us, is either our livelihood, or in my case, we're attempting to make it our livelihood. And when we have our videos demonetized because we say things that advertisers don't like, it threatens our way of making a living. So what can we do about this if YouTube refuses us? Nothing. Absolutely fuck all. Because YouTube is in control of the entire market. I mean, just think about it for a moment. What alternatives to YouTube are there? Vimeo? I mean, it's useful if you want to do a video on demand for a special, or if you want to post something that goes against YouTube's extremely strict and extremely stupid copy content ID system. Uh, likewise, Dailymotion is useful for skirting the YouTube ban, but neither of those sites have near the success or widespread appeal that YouTube does. Let's face it. If you want to be a popular video maker on the internet, YouTube is basically it. And if they decide to demonetize your videos and your content, there's nothing you can do about it. And there's nothing that any of us can do to stop them. They control us. Just like textbook companies can fuck over students as much as they want. Because there's nothing that we can do in order to bypass them. There's no website we can go to that has anywhere near the wide reach and popularity that YouTube does. And so, as we argue with YouTube over this monetization and terms of service change, and as we try our best to defend freedom of speech, I think it's important to disregard the traditional argument that people use to justify restricting freedom of speech. Specifically, uh, the idea that, well, YouTube is a private company, they can restrict whatever they want. Now, in a legal sense, that this is true. But I believe that given the fact that there is no alternative to YouTube, quite literally, Freedom of speech should be protected more than just what the company wishes. We should be allowed to express ourselves. We should not be beholden to YouTube's whims. Because saying that we're not allowed to make videos on YouTube with certain things, or saying that we're not allowed to monetize them, is basically as good as saying we're not allowed to have an audience for our views at all on the internet. Because there's nowhere else we can go. So, in this fight, I think you all need to face a sad truth. And that's that we're stuck with YouTube, no matter what happens. So, while we're frustrated with this, we need to fight with everything that we've got. Because if we fail, then our opinions will simply not be allowed to be expressed in a meaningful way, or we won't be able to make money off of them. And that, I think, is much more frightening and much more offensive than the things that YouTube is trying to silence. 
So fight against YouTube censorship and fight against YouTube's attempt to control our sensibilities. Because remember, no matter how much you may not want it to be the case, there quite literally is no alternative to YouTube. Andrew Walker out.